Please go crazy for Susan Riddle. It's all good. <laughs> um, I've been watching this show called Queer Eye. I don't know if anyone's oh, heard yeah. of it. And it's, it's, if you've not heard of it, don't worry, right? It's, it's not a complex show. Uh, it's, it's quite a simple premise. All that happens is it's a, a makeover show on Netflix. And what happens is these five stereotypical gay men just go around sorting out straight men's lives. Right, so so they'll kind of like get them a wardrobe, show them how to dress, just like get them some food, show them how to cook, just like tidy up, decorate the place, just basically what straight women have been doing with their boyfriends <laughs> since the beginning of time. <laughs> but we get called interfering cows. <laughs> Five gay guys do it and they're heroes. <laughs> I was watching this show. And I was like, I kind of want to see the opposite of this show. I want to like, see like maybe five stereotypical lesbians just going around telling some lassies to calm the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> Step away from the lip injections. <laughs> Put on a pair of sensible shoes. <laughs> that kind of thing. I would watch that. But um, it's, it's been quite a tough lockdown for me. Obviously, the lockdown's tough for everyone, but uh, I also found out during the lockdown that um, I'm disabled. Feel the tension in the room. <laughs> Does anyone want to guess what my disability is? <laughs> no. That would be pretty horrific, wouldn't it? Like a game of disabled bingo breaking out. That would be <laughs> not fun for anyone. I'll just tell you what it is, right? I was reading an article and um, it said the World Health Organization now recognises being single as a disability. <laughs> Right, this, this is true, right, this is true. I'm not making this up for jokes. This is 100% true. You can go and look it up after the show, right? Actually, you don't need to, because I've memorised the quote, OK, from the website. And it says, this is what it says, it says, the inability to find a suitable sexual partner is a social condition which could be considered a disability. <laughs> So in layman's terms, like you, you might not be able to get a shag, but you'll, you'll get a good parking space. 